everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Autumn. I have a two-year-old daughter, Emmy, as well as a four-year-old daughter, Alani. And Alani will be starting kindergarten this year. I've been looking into just some curriculum options and I've really narrowed it down to what I would like to use for kindergarten. I did not teach kindergarten, but I did teach second grade and I've taught fifth grade. And at the school that I worked at, we used Eureka Math. The company behind it is Great Minds and they teach key concepts that students use just over time. It introduces different ways to approach a solution so that students can really use what works best for them. And the way that it breaks down mathematics is just something that really interested me when I was teaching. I grew up with a decent understanding of math and when I got to about middle school, it became very difficult for me. And with math, when you start to fall behind, it really can become hard to catch up. When I was learning this curriculum and teaching using this curriculum, I just found it to be a really phenomenal way of approaching math. And so I've known for a while that if I was going to be able to homeschool, this would be the math program that I wanted to use. The other great thing about this math curriculum is it is free. I think that it is wonderful that so many people can access this without having to pay for it. With that said, there are gonna be manipulatives that you want, so there is gonna be money spent in some areas, but I appreciate that the curriculum is free. I knew that I'd be printing a lot of things with us approaching kindergarten, so I did end up getting a new printer, which I talked about in a previous video, and I'm so glad I did that because it made me feel a lot better about some of the printing that I recently did for this math that was a complete waste, but I will get into that. The two things that I mainly wanna talk about in this video is how I plan to approach using this curriculum, as well as other resources that I am going to use. As I mentioned, I wasted a good bit of paper and ink because I decided that I was going to print out the lessons. My original thought was it's gonna be easier for me to be able to look through them on paper, but what I forgot about this curriculum is there are six modules and within those modules there are multiple lessons so this is what i got from just printing module one as i said there are six i am not going to print this much paper six times so what i decided i'm going to do is the rest of the time i will just be going off of what is online. And the other thing is these lessons contain a lot of things that I'm not going to use. I will look through them, I will use them to guide what I'm using, but this is not a homeschool curriculum. This was made for the classroom and I believe that it was made to take up more than an hour of dedicated math time in a classroom. Obviously just for the fact that I am only teaching one student, it wouldn't take that long, but there's no way that I'm going to even be doing half of that time with my daughter working on this math. So if you are on the Great Minds website and you were looking through this math and you were just like, this is overwhelming, I highly recommend a different website for you. The website that I am using is called Embark.online and Embark stands for Eureka Math Bay Area Regional Consortium. Originally, it was supposed to just help local teachers with teaching Eureka Math, but I used it when I taught second grade math and I found it to be a phenomenal resource. I feel that there are so many great things on the website that it's easy to miss things. So if you go onto the website, for example, I'm doing kindergarten. If I go into kindergarten, I can go into general info, or if you just scroll to the bottom, there is a general area, but I'm just gonna stick within kindergarten while I explain this. If I go into kindergarten and general info, there is an area which helps me kind of with how I am going to plan out our year. Now I'm not gonna sit down and just like plan out the whole year, but it's going to help me as I'm planning. It has a guide for customizing, omitting, and condensing. And on that page, there's an area that says Eureka Essentials. When I go into kindergarten, there is so much great information about what the lessons contain, what you might be able to skip over or cut out, and then even how you might condense some lessons because they're covering the same thing. For example, I already know that I'm not starting with lesson one. I'm gonna skip lesson one, I'm gonna skip lesson two, and I'm gonna be starting with module one, lesson three, just based on what I already understand of those lessons and what I know Alani already knows. So when I start my planning, I will be planning from lesson three and I will go from there based on what I am seeing. Some lessons will be moving slower, some lessons will be moving faster or completely omitting. Another great resource within that general information 
is the area for materials and manipulatives. So if I click on module one, I will see what materials or manipulatives that I will need in every lesson. Now the General Great Minds website has this information, but it is not as in depth as this is. It's just so great that you can look basically at every lesson and see exactly what you will need. Now, that is something that you can also do if you just open up the curriculum and go through the lesson plans, but this is nice and condensed so that you don't have to read through everything. Another great thing within the general resources is the downloads. So downloading the actual curriculum or the problem sets, all of those different things. I specifically like the problem sets from this website. If you go into the problem sets with this website, you will see that they have actually made it easier to print this front and back. Unlike the problem sets on the regular Great Minds site, the problem sets on this site, they have inserted pages. So on a page that is a cut and paste, they have inserted a page so that when you go to print it, you're not going to have to worry about cutting into another page. They made it so that it works double-sided and I truly appreciate all of the work that went into that. There are so many things within this general information that I could go over, but the last one that I wanna mention is games. In the area called Building Fluency Through Games, there are so many games that you can choose from to help with that math fluency. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember like the timed tests where you had to quickly write as much as you could. And honestly, Eureka does have that as well. They have something called sprints where you're getting as many done in a certain amount of time. That is something that I did not enjoy and that is not something that I wanna do with my daughter. But doing this option allows you to continue working on those fluency skills, but in a more fun and exciting way. It has an area that shows you what all of the standards are. So you can be using the games that align with what you are teaching in a certain lesson. And then it also has a description of the games and then all of the printable games are right there. As someone who creates printable resources on my website, I'm thinking that there are gonna be times where I just make these a little bit more fun for Alani. If that ends up being the case, then I will make sure to be sharing them on my website. Anything that I recreate, I will just make sure to put on my website as well. So if you are not subscribed to my website, make sure to check the description and go subscribe. Okay, so once you're within kindergarten, if you go through the different modules, there are all of the breakdowns of the lessons, everything that you will need is within that. The two biggest things that I am gonna use are the Google Slides as well as the YouTube videos. So when I looked through for module one, there were 37 lessons, I believe. And out of the 37 lessons, there were 36 YouTube videos. I'm not sure what happened to number 37, but it looks like almost all of them have a YouTube video. For the lessons that I will be using, I will be showing Alani the YouTube videos. I've looked through them and I think they're a really great resource. So that is something that I will look over even before I teach Alani. I will watch those videos, make sure that any manipulatives that I wanna have, I have available. And then after the YouTube video, I will probably be using the Google Slides because they are basically a step-by-step -step guide through the lessons. So I used these when I was teaching second grade. I would copy the Google Slides, I would take out anything that I knew I wasn't going to use, and I would use them as my guide when I was talking about the different things that we were going to be discussing within the lesson. That way I didn't really have to look at the lesson plan and feel like I was necessarily reading the script. With the Google Slides, it's like a PowerPoint presentation. It just walks you through the entire thing. And I think it's just super helpful and it's more engaging as well. It's just something that I know Alani will like a lot more than me sitting in front of her and going through the script that is in the lesson. Another thing that's in there is an online rake and rec. I used that as well with my second graders and I think that I will probably end up using that with Alani. It just means it's one less thing I have to purchase. I have the fruit abacus that I've shown before in previous videos, but what I love about the online tool is you can decide how many you're going to have 
and that really just helps with keeping the number smaller, keeping it less overwhelming. As I begin the lessons and I make adjustments or learn different things, I will continue to update, but it'll most likely be more on Instagram or my blog because making a video about it is definitely a lot more time consuming. So make sure you're following along on Instagram as well. The last big thing that I'm going to be using with Eureka Math is a website called Zern. So this is different than the Embark one I was just talking about with Zern. It is Math Games. And again, it is absolutely free. There are so many free things that you can access with this curriculum. The Zern digital activities are short and they go along with what Alani will be learning in Eureka Math. And what I do is basically I just assign her as my student and then she can do the activities. Now this is something that I will be with her to do most of the time. Like she'll be doing it on her own, but I'll basically be right there with her. I can assign her a specific activity based on what we are working on and she can complete those activities at her own pace. I feel like once we get more into it, I could probably do a full video just on Zern. So I will save that for once we are more into the math curriculum. I really hope this didn't sound overwhelming. I'm actually very excited to start this with Alani because I really enjoyed this curriculum. I didn't enjoy it necessarily in the way that I had to teach it within a school setting, but I think it's going to be phenomenal with Alani and really just helping her to grasp math concepts. Right now she really enjoys math and I think that this is gonna help to give her a really firm foundation. If you just wanted to stick to the lesson plans, I feel like this could be not necessarily open and go, but require a lot less planning than what I'm gonna be putting into this. But because I wanna use so many of the other resources, I'm definitely gonna be taking a decent amount of time planning, but I am perfectly okay with that. One of the reasons I'm homeschooling is to give Alani that individualized education. So I don't necessarily want to be just going through the motions of, all right, now we're doing this page, now we're doing this page. I wanna be taking the time to really reflect on what the lesson was that we did, if she needs the next lesson, what are the resources I think are going to be helpful. So this is exactly what I want out of a math curriculum. I really hope this video was helpful. And if you haven't already, definitely check out Embark Online, check out Zern, see if these are things that you think would be beneficial for your child, whether it's kindergarten, eighth grade, whatever. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye.